Would you look on the other side and tell them as loud as you can, there are no chains holding me. Blessings and greetings, everyone. This is Bishop Darius, one of the most important entities for lives all over the world. It is praise, preaching. Your life is getting ready to be impacted like you have never experienced before. I don't care how far you have gone in life and how how strong experience the presence of the Lord like never before. Now, I don't want to just offer you a church experience today. I want to offer you an opportunity to become a part of our church. That's right. Do you not know that you can now join our ministry virtually? All you have to do is text the word census to the number that is on your screen. right. And when you do that, you'll receive all of the forms that you can fill out. And it's really a simple and easy process. And we want to be able to welcome you and make you a great addendum to our church family. The body of Christ at large is growing. And I don't want you to get confused. God is still on the throne and he is yet expanding his kingdom. If you are a backslider today or you are in need of salvation, I want you to follow the prompting that's on the screen right now. Text salvation to that number. We're going to get you into the kingdom. So wherever you are, whether you're at work, whether you're commuting, whether you're at home, regardless to where you are, I want you to be committed to locking in right now. That's right. Put those locks in the comment section right now. I want you to lock in as we prepare to enter into. common because today we preach about getting houses and cars and getting land and more money but the reality of it is we need to sanctify ourselves prepare ourselves to be in the presence of God so that we can be anointed of God I want to be in a place anointed uh, in this hour you need to have an anointing with God he looked upon Glory be to God. He knew how to talk. He knew what to say. He knew 
knew how to put things in order he knew how to dress the altar itself he looked the part but he lacked one thing and that was relationship with God yourself prophesy to yourself lay hands on yourself and believe God for your own healing oh touch your neighbor and say neighbor I got my own anointing that's what the anointing does it hides you in God's presence oh touch a neighbor say neighbor in other words God don't want to see you he don't want to see you but I feel the anointing in the room get your neighbor and say neighbor whatever it is you need God to do there's an anointing in this house for it whatever you need God to perform it will be done by tomorrow and I need an anointing to move on my behalf get somebody by the hand and say oh get ready for eyes haven't seen and ears have not heard neither has it entered the heart of men what God is about to do for you and your house get your neighbor and say neighbor build your own altar build your altar build your altar build your altar what are you saying whatever you need to do build your altar if it's praise then praise if it's worship then worship get to your yes get to your yes we will help the bishop build we will help the bishop grow it come on get back to it yes lord yes lord yes lord yes lord
Making a sound throughout the sanctuary. Yeah. I dare you encourage a neighbor, say everything I need from him. Say everything I need from him. Drawn from Emmanuel's veins, they said sinners plunge beneath that flood and lose their guilty state. If you're happy that there's a well of salvation that you can draw from, would you just begin to clap those hands and say thank you, Jesus, all around here? I, I believe this side. What about this side? Thank you, Lord, for keeping me this sweet. Hallelujah. Oh, yes, sir. There's a well that we can draw from. I mean, there's power in the well. There's strength in the well. Ah, now, listen, now that you're here with us, we're going to begin to bless the name of the Lord. The sanctuary is ready. Are you ready wherever you're watching? Everybody begin to bless the name of the Lord out there. Somebody say, I draw from you. Come on, one more time. Say, I draw from you. Come on, everybody. Clap those hands in here. Say my 
say, I call on your name. Anybody wanna do 
people that are singing songs so they can be excited. They're singing songs so that they can be pumped up. But today we're magnifying Jesus because the song said, I draw from you. And if there's anyone that's ever been to the doctor's office, you know that when blood is drawn from you, it causes you to be uncomfortable. So today, what are we telling the people of God? You have to be uncomfortable to get what you need from the Lord today. I don't think the people of God believe. Maybe they believe me online. You have to be uncomfortable to get what you need from the Lord today. What does that mean? Despite my week, despite how hectic it was, despite how I may be feeling in my body, despite my mental capacity today, I need to draw from the master's well because that well never runs dry. It never runs dry. Tell your neighbor, that well never runs dry. So what do I have to do today? Today, I have to come to the altar. I have to inconvenience myself. As the altar is preparing itself for prayer, it is my responsibility to get uncomfortable in his presence because I need something from him. What are you in need of? Strength? What are you in need of? Financial stability? What are you in need of? healing when you need these things from the Lord the only way to draw from the master is at his feet so today we come to the master's feet the altar is open for prayer those that are online in the virtual sanctuary begin to use that comment section as your personal altar and begin to jot down those names those relatives those family members that you have been bombarding the Lord in prayer for, you might want to put down a state, a town, a city, a specific address because we believe that as we pray, as we bombard heaven with our requests, he hears and not only does he hear, but he answers prayer. So this afternoon we're calling on our missionary Diamond Smichael to lead us in prayer because we believe that as the scriptures tell us, if my people, which are called by my name, would humble themselves and pray, today we're seeking. Today we are seeking. And we know that as we seek, we shall hear. Let us go before the Lord in prayer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. 
Uh, Bishop, if you will allow me, in order for us to get really uncomfortable and if you really want something unusual for God, if you are not at the altar, I just need you to grab somebody close to you, grab someone you don't know, grab someone that you are friends with, and everyone just standing up so we can go up together as one. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord. God, we worship you. God, we honor you. God, there is no other name above your name, Lord God. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you. If we all just raise up our voices, Lord God, then the heavens will come down. Father, Lord, we give you the glory. God, we thank you for this week, no matter how hard it's been, Father. God, we thank you for every breakthrough, Lord God, for every hand that's holding, Lord God, for every person that's watching. God, we thank you, Lord God, for just stretching us out, Father, for stretching us out, Lord God, for just reaching out to us, Lord God, even when we didn't deserve it, Lord God. So God, touch us, Lord God. Touch us from the crown of our heads to the sole of our feet, Father. Touch us, Lord God. Touch Touch us, Lord God. Touch us. Touch us. Touch us, Lord God. Do something unusual in this place, Lord God. For every hand, God, we're asking you for a breakthrough, Lord. We're asking you for a breakthrough, Father. We're asking you for a breakthrough, Father. Revive us, God. God, we call on revival, Lord. God, we call on revival, God. God, we call on revival, God. We don't deserve you. God, we don't deserve you. God, we don't deserve you, but you still love us. God, you still love us. God, you still love us. God, you still call us, Lord God. So here we are, Jesus. God, here we are again, Father. God, here we are again, Father. God, we humble ourselves. God, we humble ourselves. God, we humble ourselves. God, we're not too good enough to give you praise. God, we're not too good enough to give you praise, Lord God. So we say thank you. We say thank you for the person next to us, God. We say thank you for the person in front of us, for the person behind us. Jesus, Lord, we call on your name, Father. God, we walk this building today, God. God, we say thank you, Father. Lord, we worship you, Father. God, we give you the praise. God, we start worship you. We don't deserve you, Father, but you still say yes. So we give you our yes. We give you our yes. We give you our yes. We give you our yes, God, and touch our minds, God. Give us a peace of mind, God, that surpasses all understanding, God. We thank you, Lord, for the joy you're restoring, God. Thank you for the joy that you're restoring, God. God, thank you for the joy for every broken heart. For every broken heart, for every broken heart, Jesus, for every broken heart, God, only you can mold the pieces back together, hope. Only you can mold the pieces, God, only you can mold the pieces back together. God, only you can mold the pieces back together. God, do we say thank you, God? Fill us up again. God, fill us up again. God, we need the Holy Ghost, Jesus. We need your Holy Ghost, Jesus. God, we need your Holy Ghost, Jesus. God, we won't stop until you visit us. God, we won't stop until you visit us. God, we say, say, come again, Father. God, you can come again, Father. Come again, Father. Sit on us, God. Rest on us, God. Our shalom, God, we thank you, Father. That it is you. Lord, God, we thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you, Jesus, for putting his power back in us. Thank you for the power back in us. Thank you for the power back in us. God, we thank you for the power. God, we thank you for the power. God, we thank you for the power, Father. God, we thank you for the power, God. God, we thank you for the power. We won't stop until you see us, God. We won't stop until you deliver us, God. We won't stop, Lord God. So we say thank you. We say hallelujah. Jesus, we call on you, Jesus. God, we call on you, Jesus. Yes, God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God, we need it for our families. God, we need it for our bloodlines. God, we need it for our bloodline. We don't want to be the same, Father. We don't want to leave here the same, God. So visit us. Jesus, visit us. Woo. Go down into the places we don't talk about. Where we can't go to our family members, God. We only could go to you, God. You are our friend. You are our father. You are a provider. You are a comforter. You are a way maker. God, you see all things. God, everything that exists, you made it, God. So we thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you, Jesus. God, we thank you, Jesus. We are never lacking. 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 We 
so important and I can remember going at the top of this year to the doctor's office and if you know anything about me I don't really care for going to the doctor's office and as they were taking blood and they were trying to get blood from my arm they said well we can't find the vein I said well you're hurting me you're hurting me so you got to take your time with that but what she had to do was she had to go to a new location because she said, where we usually would find that vein, we're not finding it there. So we got to go to your hand. So there's some of us that are used to God doing something in a certain place. But I've come to tell you that if you trust him in the spirit today, there's a new way that your miracle is coming down your street. Only for those that believe. He's coming a new way. He's not coming like he did the last time. He's not coming like he did for your neighbor. He's coming in a new special way because he knows how much you gotta draw from him. And today we are trusting the Lord. We are trusting him with all that we have. We're trusting him with all that we have. The virtual sanctuary, they're rising in the victory and we're so excited for them to be doing that. And you know what's also special is that I would not have had access to get that blood drawn if I didn't have insurance in place. And how many know that as we connect to certain principles of the scriptures, we can have access to blessings. If we would just obey the principle of tithing, we have access to certain blessings. What does the Bible say? That the window of heaven will be open to those that abide to tithing. What is tithing? 10% of what we are afforded to receive 
based on the ability that God has first imputed into us, but then he's done something special and he's put his hand upon that ability to make it special, to make your supervisors and your bosses see something special in you when they look at your portfolio and when they look at your resume and when they look at the work that you've done for the week, they say, you know what? I want to put this particular person up for promotion. That's what being consistent with the tithe does. Even for those that are not in that field right now, but maybe you're even in the retirement field. When you are consistent with your tithe, what does God do? God puts your name in the wind. And he'll say there was something in your 10th year of work that you didn't receive that you are owed. Won't he do it, Mother Verna? Won't he do it, Sister Harriet? I know he'll do it because I've heard you testify about it. So today we are committed and connecting to the principles of tithing. Somebody say, Lord, I'm cheerful. And why are we cheerful? We're cheerful because we are a church that is committed to 100% tithing. Can we bless God for that? In person and online. And you know what's so special about that? If you are visiting with us today, maybe this is your first time hearing about tithing. Maybe this is your first introduction. You can commit and participate in this tithing. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You do not have to be left out of this wonderful opportunity to remain blessed. You can be blessed with us. So those of us that are prepared to bring their tithe, would you begin to stand right at your seat at this time? Look at the people of God in person and online. Thank you, Lord. Giving makes life much easier. And inner city, aren't we excited that we get to receive the shepherd's blessing from our bishop today? Come on, inner city, you can do better than that. Our bishop is back in the house with us. And I don't know about you, Wednesday is amazing. And we love to get that impartation during Bible talk, but there's nothing like on a Sunday afternoon at three o'clock hearing from our man of God. Wonderful. If you are prepared to bring your tithe, you can begin to make your way down to the altar and receive the shepherd's blessing from our bishop. If you are in the virtual sanctuary, you can begin to type in the word done. I see there are those that are already typing in the word tithes, and you can give us that green check mark signifying that you are bringing the tithe today. We are expecting a harvest, and we know that that harvest can be ours if we commit to the tithe. Amen. We're receiving the shepherd's blessing at this time. Look at the people of God. Excited to give in his house. Look at online. Sister Terry, we bestow the shepherd's blessing on you. Elder Barbara Payne, we bestow the shepherd's blessing on you. Wonderful. Wonderful. Sister Shador, we bestow the shepherd's blessing on you and to Janai. Amen. Janai's been bringing her tithes for years and we thank God for it. Wonderful. Sister Rochelle, we bestow the shepherd's blessing on you. Sister Jaina, we bestow the shepherd's blessing on you. Blessings. Blessings to you. We're expecting our harvest any day, any day. Wonderful. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. In inner city, aren't we glad to see our Elder Freeman again with us? We acknowledge it because she's our miracle in this season, and we are excited about it. Beautiful, beautiful. We're expecting our harvest in this season. In Jesus' name, amen. So we give, so we give. Unto the Lord. One more time, so we give. Unto the Lord. Yes, we're saying that we give. We're giving unto the Lord. Amen to Jesus. Yes, Lord. One more time in the city, can we put our blessed hands together for the tithe? At this time, we're calling for our singers to be able to again grace this pulpit and to set the atmosphere because we are indeed in for a treat today. Our bishop is back in the house with us. We want to honor our bishop one more time. And in the city, just because we have some guests with us today, we want to honor our bishop at this time the right way. Yes, yes. 
Yes. Yes, the word of God tells us that let the elders that rule well be worthy of what? Double honor. Double honor. And our bishop has been giving us little sneak peeks and trailers that today we're going to hear about what? Honor. Honor. Those that rule well. And don't we have a leader that rules well? Our bishop reminds us that he's not perfect. None of us are. But he is one that has been gifted to us to rule this house, this portion of the vineyard, well. So we're glad that as we set the atmosphere, we're going to get our hearts and our minds ready and get the ground cultivated. Those that are in the virtual sanctuary, can you put those locks and keys? Because right after, we're going to be receiving our bishop, and we want to be ready and open to receive all that he has to give us. We want to draw from that well today. Is that right in the city? Amen. So right after our singers have finished and commenced setting the house in worship, let us all stand and receive our angel, the angel of this house, in the person of Bishop Darius Jamel Nixon. Thank you. 
come on, I need you to declare it. I will not fail. Come on, tell him your plan will prevail. Please, Lord, just take my hand and ask him, lift me. Come on, tell him I will not fail. Your plan will Come on, ask him, lift me. Lift me. One more time. I will not, I, I will, will not fail. fail. Your plan. Your plan will prevail. Please, Lord. Please, Lord. Just, just take my hand. Oh, I just want to worship him a minute. Is that all right? situation the devil told you you was going to lose and was going to be defeated declare I will not I will not I will not your plan will prevail please Lord just take my church right there. authority over it now we render the distraction helpless open the ears of the hearer and let them hear what your spirit says unto the church and we will praise you forever in Jesus name thank God can we clap our hands and praise the Lord yeah. 
grace and peace be unto you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you today. We bless you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Would you look to the persons your left and right and tell them I bless you today in Jesus' name. be seated in the presence of the Lord before preaching today I want to make a couple of observations and I want to thank God for all of the saints of God who have been doing the work of the Lord throughout the week and not just waiting for Sunday to come but we are a witness to all that we meet I must tell this gospel Everywhere I go, everywhere I go, and I will open up my heart to everyone I see and say to them, Jesus Christ is the way. And how many of you know that he is the only way? We want to keep those things in our hearts. We want to keep them in our minds. And we want to be uh, respectful not only just to the house of the Lord, but we want to be respectful to the things of the Lord. And so we are grateful. We are thankful because we are certainly remaining strong in perilous times. I want to commend many of you for being a part of the portal and not just waiting for Sunday to receive a word but you are getting in on the teaching, the magnanimous teaching that is happening throughout the week. Our Bible study has been outstanding. And if you are a part of the portal, you will know this to be true. The Lord has been meeting us, yes, even in a virtual space. It has been tremendous teaching. And this past Wednesday, uh, as we begin to deal with the works of the flesh, just unpacking those things and really beginning to list them. I believe that we are being empowered like never before, but I believe it is intentionally so, so that we can build ourselves up on our most holy faith. You can join the portal by texting inner circle, uh, two words, inner circle to 855-247-4676. You will have the opportunity to subscribe and become a part of the inner circle portal. And so we are grateful to the Lord for those who are already a part, and we are honored by those who will become a part. I do want to make an observation concerning our Holy Convocation 2024. We are very, very, very excited, amen, about what God is doing in the Covenant Keepers International Alliance. And um, it, has, it has certainly been a tremendous start, amen, to the renaming and the reforming of our fellowship and God has certainly been using our leader to take us in a new direction but I want the inner city church to be completely a part of that can we say man I'm going to say it one more time and get some help from the middle because the middle didn't say anything to me and that must mean you're not a part amen but amen I want our inner city church to be completely a part of what is happening within covenant keepers and uh, I want you to prepare those of you who uh, did everything to be a part of the conference last year you know it was a tremendous conference from its start to its completion and so we are gearing up for another a tremendous and groundbreaking conference. It's going to be held in Charlotte, North Carolina. We're going to Charlotte, North Carolina this year and I want everybody, how many bodies? I want everybody to make sure that you are a part of this. It turns out that it, it ends up being a revival. It ends up being a revival, a time of refreshing and that's what convocation is. It's not just a time of showcasing and showing off. It is a time of refreshing and empowerment. You get to go and hear from various gifts in the kingdom of God as they come and pour into you. Because although it's wonderful to have a good pastor and a good preaching pastor, you also need others that will come in to help fortify uh, what has been poured into you all year long. Are y'all all right? 
Amen. And so I'm looking for our membership to be a part, amen, of the conference this year in full capacity. Amen. And all right, so uh, get there, though. Amen. Don't lean on me to get there. You get there. Amen. And I'll see you when you get there. Can we say amen? Praise the Lord. We're not doing no bus. Amen. I'm going to this conference stress-free. So there will be no bus. Amen. All right. So I want you to be responsible for getting there and make sure that you are there uh, in full capacity. We want to be able to look out and see uh, our church present. All right. Now, I want you to make sure that you visit all of the necessary places for the registration of the convocation has opened. There is an early bird registration uh, that is a tremendous cut in what the normal registration will be. If you miss that deadline, that's nobody's fault but, but your own, all right? So I want everybody uh, registered. How many bodies? We want everybody to be registered, all right? That's all I need to say about that. Amen. Our bishop has put together a tremendous uh, lineup of, of voices that will be ministering to us throughout uh, that week. And that's going to be in the night services. So you don't even know what's going to be happening during the day. Amen. And I know that our presiding bishop is going to be leading us in that prayer each morning. And my God, you don't want to miss it. That's all I'm saying. Uh, amen. It's good to be connected to bishops that pray. Praise the Lord, and not just sitting to look important, but uh, we have a praying, presiding bishop, and we're very grateful, amen, to the Lord for that. All right, uh, we do want to thank God for uh, our birthdays this week, those that are celebrating their birthdays. We honor the Lord for all of our members, amen, and we're grateful for more life, amen, and we bestow that upon you. We don't want you to just live another day, another month, another year. We want you to have more life. May the Lord increase the quality of your life. Amen. And uh, I, 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 I think it's important. I think it's important to celebrate everybody's life and not just the week is your life. People that can't celebrate others are miserable. They're not happy with life. Uh, you're not happy with life if you need all the attention to be on you. And so it's very important that we know how to celebrate others. And so this week we are celebrating our sister Lachelle Trampier. Amen. The Lord bless you, Lachelle, and more life to you. Amen. We are celebrating our sister Shalana Ballard. Can we praise the Lord for sister Shalana Ballard? Amen. The Lord bless you, Shalana, and more life to you. We are celebrating because today is his birthday, and we are celebrating this great man of God. Amen. Our brother Julian Lopez. Can we praise the Lord for brother Julian? Happy birthday to you, sir, and more life. We are also celebrating the queen of the house. Amen. She is the head of our women's department. She is our shepherd mother. She is the overseer. Can we praise God for Elder Mama? Give Elder Bridget Nixon a great big God bless you. Elder Mama, happy birthday and more life. Amen. We are grateful. Amen. We want to highlight all of our members. If you've been hanging around and not sure whether or not you want to be a part, amen, make up your mind before your birthday. Can we say amen? And we're not calling you out because you hang out. Amen. You got to have a full subscription to get a shout out. Can we say amen? <laughs> amen. I don't call out other people's members. Can we say amen? All right. Amen. Amen. So we thank the Lord for each of you. Amen. Celebrating you can become a part of our great church by texting the word census to 855-247-4676. Again, you can text the word census right there on your device. Do something smart with it. Amen. And text the word census, C-E-N-S-U-S, -S, 
285524746767 and you will receive the necessary form amen that you can fill out and become a part of our great church we are welcoming today a new member amen <laughs> Amen. And we want to take out some time to make some noise and to celebrate. Amen. This new member, this young man who has now come to be a part of our church. Amen. Brother Donnell Gamble. Can we praise the Lord? He's from Yonkers, New York. He's in the place today. Give him a hand. God bless you, son. Amen. And welcome to the ministry. We are glad to have you a part of the family. Amen. Amen. The Lord is good. I want to attempt to try my best to share with you a word from the Lord. And I'm praying that what I share with you today will bless you and will help you. I want to talk today from the word unforgettable. Unforgettable. Pass that word all the way down your row. Unforgettable. Please hear me today as best you can and as attentively as you can. The clashing between the authority and the subordinate has never been more cataclysmic in its impact than we are seeing today. The level of disregard, disrespect, and disdain is producing, if you're paying attention, pure hatred on a massive level. And that hatred is on display for all to see. It's not subtle. It's not hidden. It's not secret. It's not private. It is blatant. Somebody said blatant hatred. Now, while all hatred is dangerous, Redonia, it's all dangerous within itself. But what certifies its danger is when it becomes, Freddie, justifiable. When we start attempting to justify our hatred, When the word tells us hatred is a plain indication that you don't belong to God. But we as a human race, we are trying to find loopholes by which to justify our hatred. Just for a few moments here, because I know some of y'all done already shut down with your hateful self. Yeah, it's radiating off of you. The, the moment I started talking about it, that thing started radiating from you. And I want to talk about this today because, and I may talk about this a couple Sundays. So don't, don't come back next Sunday if you, if you But hear me, offenses typically justify these severe levels, Janet, of toxicity that generally contaminate and pollute each environment it enters and each connection it makes. When you have justifiable hatred brewing on the inside, what you have found permissible cause to feel and entertain 
It will endanger every environment you enter. And it will infiltrate every connection you make. It starts out hating them. Then it becomes hating everyone. We're in trouble as a society because we do not know how, hear me, to conduct proper appraisals. Which means, which means, it is, it is impossible and we are incapable of knowing how to appreciate the value of what we encounter throughout our lives. We don't know the value and we don't appreciate the value. And that's what makes society so dangerous. Because we don't treasure what is in our circumference. Or what has even passed our way. Ignorance of value, I'll pick it up in a minute, can result in unintentional mishandling. Ignorance of value can result in an unintentional mishandling. In other words, I didn't handle you right. Not because I intended to mishandle you. But even when mishandling is accidental, it's still disgraceful and disrespectful. But the reason why I mishandled you Prophet is Betty unintentionally is because I didn't conduct a proper appraisal of your presence in my life. I don't know what the value is. That's why you sit invaluable items down in every place. Anywhere. That's why you just toss goods as if they hold no significance or no value. That's why heirlooms are not properly stored with you because you don't know what you got. I want you to just turn around and tell somebody those words. You really got to find out what you got. You really do. You, you, you need to find out. You need to find out, Leticia, what you got before it's too late. Because what you are so willing to throw in the trash, somebody else who understands appraisal. Will find value in what you don't even know what's in your possession. Y'all be seated in a minute. Oh, Lord. There's an infamous saying that comes to my mind right now, Durwood. And some of y'all can, uh, you can pretty much finish it once you hear me start it. You don't miss your water. clue of what you had access to until access is now denied. You gotta be careful! You didn't want me to come back to preach to you. Let me turn this corner because I'm gonna deal with this a couple of weeks. I'm not even gonna try to preach all this today. So let me go on and turn this corner, Trevor, so that they don't, they don't get upset too bad. Uh, let me turn this corner. Gratitude is, is one of life's qualities that we often misconstrue. And, and I, I want to deal with this today because I, I, I think we often misinterpret what gratitude is 
based upon people's responses or their actions. And so we assume that there is a, a loss of gratitude. But I'm, I want to share something with you. Gratitude, gratitude, gratitude. Just, just, just being thankful. If, 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 if gratitude is not etched, Kanika, in the archives of one's mind, Gratitude, Sabrina, can be lost. No, 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 no. It doesn't mean you didn't have it. It means you lost it. If it's not etched in the archives of your mind. And, and, and typically, this, how do you lose gratitude, Bishop? I'm going to tell you how. I'm going to tell you how. We, we, we typically lose gratitude when a benefit is no longer being received. Come here, come, 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 come here. While you're receiving from me, you're grateful. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Y'all, for, for the most part, I'm going to tell you how, how we're wired. For the most part, we are visual. We are visual. So, so being that we are visual, Tatiana, here's the challenge. The challenge is we only see the things in our life from a current lens. Our scope is always current. Present. What's now? What's in front of me? This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Because while we're looking at things that are, we forget what was. Uh, okay, let me, let, me, let, me, let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. Let me help you. In essence, we always esteem the table we are currently eating from. And we regard highly whoever is a part of our current process. The problem with us is when we enter into current spaces, we think that the currency of a current space is the denouncing of a previous space. So for many of you, you get new friends and you act like it was hell with the old friends. Okay, y'all don't want to, you ain't got to help. I know you don't have to. Because that's how we're wired. We only appreciate what is. And we forget what was. You mean to tell me you hung around those friends for 15 years and it was all hell? You mean to tell me you were that close to that individual for that amount of time and you got nothing but problems from them? Look down your road, tell everybody on your road, it wasn't that bad, stop that. Look how look how y'all look how y'all letting the people on your road get away with it. Look how y'all look how y'all letting them get away with it. I said, look down the whole road. I don't care whether they want to look at you or talk to you or not. Tell them it was not that bad. You ought to stop it. You ought to stop it. Because you don't have to kill old connections in order to make new connections. And if that is your MO, and if that is who you are, the new people better watch out for you. Because when, because when you get done with them, you're going to divorce them the same way you divorce the others. Because you don't know how to value people beyond what they're doing for you currently. I, I, I think it's typically because I think it's typically because I think it's typically because um, we we try so hard to forget the 
the issues and the traumas of what was then that in our process of, I'm giving y'all the benefit of the doubt, in our process of trying to forget the pain of what was, we end up forgetting the people of what was. Their intervention, their intercession, their care, their love, their kindness, their benevolence, their generosity. God, God, God tells, God tells, and I'm going to find me 12 worshipers now. God tells the children of Israel, he says, gather 12 stones. 12 stones. 12 stones. Joshua 4 into chapter number 5. He says, gather 12 stones. You need 12 stones. Why do we need these 12 stones? Let these 12 stones become a memorial for you. I want them to become a memorial for you. I want you to, when you see these 12 stones, I want it to trigger your memory. What, what are these 12 stones from? These 12 stones are from the Jordan River. That while they were crossing, the power of God made the waters to cut off. So that it would not sweep them and take them out. See, 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 when things life altering happen for you, you don't forget that. What kind of individual was in a situation that should have been their demise? but met some intervention and some intercession. And as a result of the intervention and intercession, I should have, but you brought me out. How can I forget? You'll never get me in a church sitting down all cute and sitting down all reserved like I don't know where my help come from. Tell your neighbor, I didn't know how I was going to make it. I didn't know how. Glory to God. And if they don't, if they don't talk back to you, don't turn. Because that ain't who you need to be linked up with. Tell them, you don't, I tell them, I don't know how. I don't know how you can sit there. Tell them, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. I don't know how. I don't know how you can sit there. I almost lost my mind. There were some situations I went through that should have took me out and took me under. I feel like lifting them up right now. I feel like throwing up my hands right now. I feel like shouting out of my mouth right now. It was an iteration of me. Who am I that thou art mindful of me? The son of man that you consider me, you have made me a little lower than yourself. Because the angels there comes from the Hebrew word Elohim. You Let me try to finish this. Imani, let me say this to you, honey. Let me say this to you. I don't care where your journey takes you next, and then next after that, and then next after that. I don't care how good your life starts looking. I don't care how much the furniture you purchase actually costing is that value don't ever be ashamed oh excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me excuse me i feel a praise coming upon me now i feel a praise don't you ever be ashamed of your story because your story is only an indication 
person. It's a memorial. It's when I consider, when I remember. Every time you look at a new wall and new paint, every time you look at new furniture, your mind ought to trip. Your mind ought to go crazy. Your mind ought to start thinking. You should be worried. Telling God, God, I can't wait till you get me out of this, God. I don't. You remember when you was driving down the street or riding down the street? You didn't know where your next meal was coming from? And you just said, I just can't wait for this season of my life to be over. Then you get out. And you forget. But if you don't let gratitude shift into honor... God, I thank you. My mother may not have been the best. She may not, but God, I thank you because right through there, she got me through. How can I dishonor? Okay, y'all ain't, y'all ain't with me. Oh, I might, oh, my grandfather might not have been a preacher, but thank you, Lord, because he provided and he made a way. And oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank God. See, problem with us we start doing well and we forget that when you couldn't wipe see these are the times that online stuff messes me up let me conclude look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor I am grateful I really am but tell him I also am a person of honor. I don't care how offended I was in the situation that occurred. It's not going to make me dishonor the people who helped me. Y'all start getting around the upper echelon and the, and the creme de la creme and you're, you're around the top players and the and the key players and now all of a sudden you forget <laughs> gotta be careful when you start forgetting and now you're flying high but life has a way Life has a way of making you remember what you have conveniently forgotten. Jennifer, am I talking? See, 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 he said gather those 12 stones. Last time, y'all, sit, 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 sit. This is the last time. Because I don't want you to miss your, got to get your notes and stuff. You ready? Can I close it now? They said no. I got to close at some point. Why was it important to gather those 12 stones? And I need you to hear me because... Though God, that's okay, she has a memory. That's the problem. We need some people who know how to interrupt. Because see, when you have a memory, you'll interrupt the program. You'll throw the program out of the window. I thought about it. Oh, help me, Jesus. 
Shatalabakuba. Here's, here's what, here's what we got to go on to understand. Here's what we got to go on to understand. And I don't want to frighten nobody if this is your first time being here with me. I don't want to frighten you. But if we, if we hear this right, it's about to get ugly. So let me just go ahead and put that disclaimer out there. If you're injured, move your body in. Just a touch. Because I have a feeling that our memory is about to be triggered. See, gather those 12 stones and remember the Jordan. Don't ever forget the Jordan. Don't forget how he brought you. Don't forget how he protected you. Don't forget how he provided for you. Don't forget how he made a way for you. Don't forget that while everybody was looking, anticipating and expecting you to fold and to fall and to fail, don't forget. But here, here is the challenge for your mind. You listening? Here's the challenge for your mind. The challenge for your mind is storage space. Because though he did that, he's not done. The Jordan was one thing, but the walls of Jericho are in front of us. He's not finished. So, so here it is. Here it. No, wait a minute. Wait, wait. Don't push. He about to. Rip. Here's what you need. Here's what you need to know. God will do greater things. But even in his doing greater, it is imperative that they not forget what was already done. Two reasons why. Number one, remembering what he did despite what he's going to do is a point of reference. Why do you need a reference point? Because before he does the next thing, it's going to get difficult. It's going to get challenging. It's going to look impossible. You're going to get some bad news. You're going to feel discouraged. You're going to feel a little depressed. So you need a reference point. That when things, Maria, gets challenging and difficult, remember the 12 stones. Okay, 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 okay. And then number two, not only is it for a point of reference, but number two, it is a point of worship. It is a point of worship. For being, for his being mindful of them in a time that they should have died and been destroyed, he remembered them. So you need not to forget, and you need to remember for the point of reference during challenging times and the point of worship during the time of honor. See, honor archives. Honor memorializes. Honor, 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 honor builds a fortress that reminds. See, 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 Prophetess Betty, come here for a second. You, you, you may have, you may have been used of God in a season of my life where I needed it most. But then you may have done something to hurt me. And in my flesh, there are thoughts of retaliation. 
Look how y'all don't want to say nothing on this side. And revenge, because that's how many of y'all live. You live by the law of retaliation and revenge. So because you did something an eye for an eye. And so because you hurt my feelings, Betty, I'm looking at the current space we are in, and it's not a good space. And now I want you to hurt like you hurt me. But when I'm honorable, oh God, help me. God, help me. I'm going to say to myself, Betty hurt you. But Betty also helped you. Oh, look how quiet y'all are. And that ought to cancel out the disrespect. That ought to cancel. Now, I might not talk to Betty right now. But I'm honorable. And I can never disregard her, disrespect her. I could never treat her any kind of way because I remember I can't, I can't say nothing about Betty that's off. And I can't let you say nothing about Betty that's off just because I'm in the middle of an offense. If you talk about Betty, we're going to have a problem. And I might not be on Betty's good side right now. But honor is not going to let you. Some of you form toxic allegiances with people you would have never been friends with under no other circumstances. The problem is you have a common denominator. You both hate the same individual, but you have less reason to hate them and more reason to honor them because they, the other people you to link with, don't know the history. Honor archives. Don't ever forget that. Honor archives. Honor memorializes. Honor keeps record. Let the record show. I had one pastor, Dr. Rita Lee Speller, still alive today. Still alive and kicking. Is my spiritual mother. Are you listening to me? She didn't always say things that were nice to me. She didn't always handle me in ways that I thought was correct. But I trusted. Because my hurt feelings couldn't go against the times she made porterhouse steak for me. Oh, see, y'all don't know nothing about porterhouse. You just do strip steak, pepper steak. You don't only know nothing about. You don't know about. My 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 hurt feelings could not stand in rebuttal or rebellion against the comfort she had provided for me in her home amidst her family. That when others were not allowed to her home, she gave me access. Hurt feelings could not go beyond the fact that I am the preacher today. That I am. Because she invested time and correction and rebuke into the development of who I am. So when God showed me Bishop Hezekiah Walker, I was stuck. Because ain't nothing wrong with my loyalty. Nothing wrong with my honor. 
Nothing wrong with my gratitude. My gratitude is etched in the archives of my mind. I can't talk about my spiritual mother and tears not well up. I can't see her children and tears not well up with appreciation and love and gratitude and genuine intimacy because that's who we are. When her baby son died, I mourned as if he was my blood brother. Are you listening to me? When I walked in the church, she said, y'all get him because he was close to him. Y'all get him. Hmm? Never did I go and have a meeting with Bishop Walker without talking to Dr. Speller. No, 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 no. you don't have to clap for me because you don't understand what I'm talking about. That kind of thing is foreign in this day and in this time. I went, and when I went to the church, they were closing out of the service, and when the service was closed, and when the service was over, I was walking to the front and tears were streaming down my face, meeting underneath my chin. She said, what's wrong with you? I said, I got to talk to you, Pastor. I said, I just want you to know you know, I'm giving all these disclaimers. I love you. And then, you know, no, you didn't do anything wrong to me. And it was nothing, anything like that. No, I mean, I'm crying. I could barely talk. She said, wait a minute. Wait, hold it. Hold it. She said, just because God is sending you over there, you still my son. Okay, you don't. Y'all, let me, let me get ready to get out of here. Let me get ready to get out of here. Oh, you still. My son. Hmm? Stop thinking that because you are being led to move on. You got to tear away. Moving on don't make us enemies. It's how you move. Got to move with honor. All I knew was this was going to end the relationship between me and my spiritual mother. She's going to be mad at me because I got to move on. But I had a conversation. And after that conversation was over, I felt relieved and released. Then I could go and sit and talk with Bishop Walker. Hmm? Are you listening to me? Because a new blessing does not discount the old one. I said, Lord, I need a scripture. Because I really hadn't been preaching at my church the last few weeks like that. And they've been looking at me online and other places. I said, Lord, I need a scripture to leave with them. He said, he said, well, well, first, first thing I want you to do is plan to spend some time talking about honor. He said, because honor is the missing ingredient. The people are handling me based on what I do for them currently. And they've forgotten what I've already done. So if I don't move currently as fast as they want me to move, they withdraw their honor. They hold back the strength and the intensity of their worship and their praise because they only value what's currently in front of them. He said, but I want you to remind Mary about what I've done. I said, yes, Lord. He said, I want to sh show you this. I said, yes, Lord. He said, I want you to take the people to Luke 17. When you go to Luke 17, you're going to find yourself at verse number 11. Verse 11 says, On the way to Jerusalem. 
Jesus was going through the region between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered a village, ten men with a skin disease approached him, keeping their distance. They, hallelujah, called out, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. I need y'all to hear me. I need you to hear me loud and clear. This text was imperative for me to visit today because these lepers in previous sermons have gotten the wrong rep. They've been marked as ungrateful. They've been marked as people who use and never say thank you. But that's inaccurate. What I see here is an acknowledgement of who he is and what he's capable of. Mercy on us. This was not the cry of one man. This was the cry of all ten. Help us because all ten of us know what you are capable of doing. I feel like preaching but I'm just trying to figure out if I have the bandwidth to do it. When he saw them, he said to them, go and show yourselves to the priest. Mm -hmm. Here's what's amazing about gratitude. As long as it's in front of you, you can show gratitude. They didn't approach him with an ungrateful heart. They approached him fully aware, fully knowledgeable of who he was and what he was capable of. Jesus, Master, we have heard of you since you're here. Have mercy on us. But these lepers are no different from the other human beings that are sitting looking at me today, be it in person or online. While you're here in his presence, you acknowledge him, you thank him, you call out to him, you beseech him, you beg of him. She, master, have mercy on us. That's what some of your worship is like today. Do something for me today, Jesus. I've had a bad week dealing with bad news. Handle my difficulties because I'm standing here in your presence. But the Bible declared, mm, yeah, I feel like preaching. Excuse me if you don't want to hear it. He said, go show yourselves to the priest. He disperses them into different directions. Go to the priest who could declare you clean. I give you permission to leave my presence and go receive. Leave my presence and go accomplish. Leave my presence and go achieve. Leave my presence and go and possess. Go get what you asked me for because it's already done. They were grateful while they were there. But when they got it, they lost their gratitude because they were too excited that they had what they had had finally come to fruition. But let me read the text. Let me read the text. 
Bible said as they went, <laughs> they were made clean. Then one of them. Oh! Somebody ought to tell God thank you. It happened while they were on the way. But one of them remembered. One of them etched the appreciation. Etched the gratitude in the archive of his mind. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. He prostrated himself, yeah, at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus asked, what not ten made clean? So where are the other nine? I want to tell your neighbor, say neighbor. I don't know if that's the right kind of neighbor. I said I want to tell your neighbor. So go ahead and find one and say neighbor. I don't know about you. But whenever the Lord does something for me, I'll never be able to forget it. I gotta lift my voice. I gotta lift my hands. I gotta show out wherever I can. Cause when I feel. Tell your neighbor when I feel. Of the goodness of Jesus. And all. He's done for me. Tell your neighbor my son. Y'all can't sit in the front of you can't preach with me. Tell somebody my soul. Cry not hallelujah. I thank God. I find your neighbor, tell your neighbor, he's been good to me. He's been good to me. So good. Better than me. Than I deserve. Better than me. Than I've been to myself. I'm grateful. And I honor him. I'm grateful. Somebody Somebody ought to tell the Lord Tell your name, I'm going to tell you why. I tear up the church whenever I can. Tell them, I'm going to tell you why. It's so hard for me to keep my seat. Tell them, because the God that I serve is unforgettable. I be trying to behave. Trying to be silent. Trying to keep my seat. But every time a memory. Pops in my head. I lose control of my faculty. My hands get to wave. My feet start getting light. 
get out of here before we go to heaven. Just look at somebody and tell them, don't you ever forget. Yeah. 
years ago you couldn't have told me this would have been my life tell him tell him I was in a bad state I'm telling you tell him and I remember I rem I really do but God big bad state but God while the sun is up. We've made worship a performance for others. We, we, we perform for everybody. We want everybody to see our shout. We want everybody to see our dress. We want everybody to see... a result of my honor when I look at my I know my life you don't know it you heard about it but you don't really know it but mother Vernon all these years serving as a mother in the church people celebrating you as a mother in the church honoring you as a mother in the church oh but mother Vernon there's a story behind it they don't know why every time you get to pray to God, you're about to tear everything up. They don't know how many years you were on drugs, separated from your family. And one night, you walked into a revival and never needed rehab, never needed counseling. going to church with because we professional we, we we dress it up now now we we all clean and now we showing how clean we are but there's a memory that if I shared with you my memory you wouldn't believe it was me I'm the same person And I honor him. And I honor him. And I honor him. I never shall forget what he's done for me. I'm still here. I'm still here. Let y'all get out of here while the sun is still up. Tell your neighbor he's unforgettable.
He's unforgettable. Wave your hands in his presence, everybody. That's why we don't ever have to worry about where we're going. because we've never forgotten where we've been. And where I am is better than where I've been. And where I'm going is better than where I am. Every round with God goes higher and higher. Listen, I need you to trust the voice of God today in me. I was praying this week real hard. Because I knew I had to share this. And I kept saying, Lord, I don't want this to come off fussy. And, you know, that's not what this is. I think this is the time for us to reacquaint ourselves with what honor really is. And so that's what this message is all about. I got more to share with you about it. I'll come back to it next Sunday. But... I want every person to trust the voice of God in me right now. I want you to hear me. I want you to get a seed right now in your hand. I want you to get a seed right now in your hand, and I want you to do the seed 111 quickly. I want everybody under the sound of my voice to get the seed 111 quickly. And if you're going to do it, I want you to come and touch the altar right now with your device, with your gift. The seed of 111, quick, quick, quick. This is not for everybody. This is only for those with a memory. Those of you that are online, you have a memory. I want you to trust the voice of God in me right now. Plant the seed of 111. And comment the word done comments quickly Shandala the book of Bahai Ikamadona Baba Shandala Kahaya If God can do this at this level just you watch and see You have no idea what he wants to do with you next. Quickly, quickly. Those of you online, quickly. You're not just a bystander. You're not just somebody just viewing. You are participating in this oil. The anointing of the Holy Ghost. You're participating in the anointing of the Holy Ghost upon this service. Get your 111 seat in quickly and comment the word done. Stretch your seating today. 
ordinarily I would have moved on, but I hear the Father say, I'm calling for a stretching of the sea. Remember when you couldn't even give 11? I just wonder if there's anybody here can remember. Remember when 11 was all you had? And then we gonna sit here and try to deliberate over 111. When it's right there, you can sow it. When once upon a time, you didn't even have 11. your story. Don't you ever be ashamed of your story. Nobody but God. Tell your neighbor, I remember when I didn't have 11. Ha! Ha, ah, But look at you now. Bills are paid. wait on somebody to be generous and kind. But I thank him for a job. I mean, you, you, you sit there. You sit there if you ain't got You sit there because you ain't got I thank him for a job. I thank him for a job. I thank him for a steady income. I thank him. There are some people complaining about their job. You, Jesus. You praise him. You praise him all you want.
want every person under the sound of my voice, you didn't sow. I want you to get a seed that doubles. It's got to match the first number. If you're giving 50, I want you to give 55. If you're giving 40, I want you to give 44. If you're giving 20, I want you to give 22. Do that quickly. Make sure that your numbers are duplicate in your coming. I heard this so clearly. I heard this so clearly. He's doing the good measure. The press down. The shaking together. The running over. He's going to allow men to give in to your bosom. Hand over behind you. Hey, it's getting ready to work out. It's getting ready to work out. It's going to work out. Oh, yeah. Are we live? Yes, sir. Are we on? I'm, I, I, I'm, I know I'm in the, re, in, 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 the, in the recap space, but God has turned this place upside down. It's a Deacon Damon here. You know who I am. Yes, sir. I am, I am so rearranged right now because I remember to honor, honor, honor our Savior. He's unforgettable. He's unforgettable. He's unforgettable. Can 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 everybody? <laughs> there's about seventy of us still here in the after show. Can you just type in unforgettable? My God. I know it's a long word with a lot of letters, but it means so much today. Type in the word unforgettable. My Lord, my Lord. There's so much that Bishop broke down today about honor. Mm -hmm. Uh, but one thing that stood out to me the most is Bishop said, my worship is a result of my honor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do this not because of who I am or my ability. I do this because I remember the days where I was in depression. I remember yeah. the days where I was homeless. Come on, D. I can say, I can stand before the people right now, the ones that are still here in this after show, that I was homeless. Mm. I rode the train one way, and when that way stopped, this way. Oh, wait, let's, let's remind the people of God. You're not telling somebody else's no. story. No, this is my testimony. The deacon that you see today, tell him. I remember walking all day because I didn't have anything. 
I had a dollar twenty-five to buy a beef patty, mm. and if I found another quarter, I got a beef patty with cheese. Elder Z, I would split it down the middle mm. and eat it for breakfast, and then eat the rest for later. But I'm still here. Yes, sir. And it's by the grace of God. I'm not trying to boast about it, mm -mm. but I park where I want to go now. Yes, sir. This is your story. My bills are paid. I pay a mortgage. Yeah. I honor that God. Yeah. Yeah. Who wouldn't honor a God like that? Yeah, Sister Terry said unforgettable. Sister unforgettable. Rochelle said unforgettable. The Taj Malley family and the yeah. Freeman family. Father Merritt said unforgettable. Donovan My God. said unforgettable. Elder Arletha yeah. said unforgettable. Sister Tawana said unforgettable. You looking at somebody who did that, that had to drop out. Tell the story. Go back and drop out again. And I got a college degree. God did that. I don't care what I'm looking at right now. Yeah. I still remember. And Bishop reminded us today that don't even don't even just settle here because there, there's more. There's more. Bishop said, Bishop said, remembering what he does or what he has done despite what he's getting ready to do. There has to be room in, in the storage bank of our minds. Come on now. For us to realize that God has more to do. Yeah. But there's only more that he can do if we honor. We got to honor, honor him. We got to honor him. Because sometimes we forget. Ooh. We forget. Any, do I have anybody in the after show? There's about 70 My of God. us still here. Has anybody... Can, can we be honest and say that we forgot? Thank you. I forgot. Elder Zeke forgot. Elder Zeke, I know you got a testimony. I remember watching my friends graduating. Yeah. Going into their careers. Yeah. And in retail, feeling like a failure. A failure. Less than 40000 a year. Come on. Come in on. the basement of my parents' home. Yeah. And now God has graced me to be on my second home. Your second home. Only God can do that. Only God can do that. So how could I forget to honor a God like that? And 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 and, 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 and I don't want to jump into your testimony, but I believe that 40,000 done quadrupled by now. You have matched people on. You have you have been in your current position so much that you are a master level now. Can't nobody do that but God. I want you to know that you see me and Elder Zeke come here every week, and we love to do it. But I know this is no goodness of my own. No sir. It's His mercy. It's His favor. Yeah. Out of all my mama kids. Mm. Out of all my mama kids. I love my siblings. I love my siblings. I love my siblings. But out of all, almost 10 of us, mm. I'm standing firm in the word of God. You know, some people will look at us telling our story and they'll say, well, you know, you're not. No, Bishop said, don't be embarrassed uh -uh. by your story. Walking in shame. Your story adds value to the level of your yeah. honor. That's right. Don't you ever your be ashamed. Your story adds value. And Bishop said, you know what? It's important for us to remember our story because ignorance, ignorance, come on, of that story can that cause down you too. to unintentionally handle me. Yeah, because you don't know my story, Woo. you'll look at me and say, "Well, I don't know if he should be praising yeah. that hard." Yeah, they fail to appraise. I don't know if he should be talking about his bishop that much. My I'm gonna God. talk about him as long as Listen. I can. You know why? Because the leader. That's it. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The man yeah. that I am today is because of Bishop Darius Jamel Nixon. Look at that. Look at that. I honor him. Look at that. Don't we can't even go too far. Hmm. Can't even go too far. I came, I came to this place and I pray. I said, God, you gotta send me a father. And that's no disrespect to my biological no, father. Sir. No, sir. But when I tell you this man Woo. stepped in the gap. And fathered what I didn't even know I needed to be fathered. Mm. I honor him. 
And people can call it nepotism. People can call it a cult. Let me tell you something. He had to preach me. Literally preach me out of depression, oppression, pride. Because I was coming around. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Because I was embarrassed. Mm. I was shame. I remember walking around with holes in my shoes. Come on. Because I was embarrassed, and I felt that everybody could see me. But I'm so glad that out of everybody else, he saw me. He saw me. This is just the beginning of our conversation. That's it. The beginning. This is just how the honor starts. The honor starts by not forgetting. Yeah, yeah. The honor starts yeah. by not forgetting. And I pray that today... For the 70 of us that are still My in this God. after show, that you don't forget what God has done for you. There are some of us that can't come That's to right. the in-person experience. That's right. Don't have the physical ability to come yeah. to the in-person experience. But yeah. how dare we? How dare we tell God when we'll get ready to come into his presence? Lord have mercy on us. How dare we? That's why we tell you every week, get in the portal. Get in, get in there. Get in Bible talk. Get in there. Come to the 3 o'clock in person. Get in there. Why? Because there may come a day. Come on. When you wish you could. And uh, you will be able to. What did Bishop say today? You don't miss your water until your well has run dry. Bishop said today that, that honor builds a catalog. Honor builds a, 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 a record. Yeah. And, 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 and we can sit here all day and tell you, because see, I think that people really don't know. And that's fine. But I know that there's power in testimonials. Yeah. But I'm also a living testament that he will do exceedingly, yeah. he will. abundantly, he will. above all that we could ask or think. Come and on. I think that this today has really reminded you that it's important to remember the honor. Remember the honor. Remember, remember how you got connected. Can, can I just jump in right quick? Because you just said something when you said, remember the honor. I believe that there may be some people that are still here with us in this after show that maybe Bishop is the one that you want to honor today. But if it's not Bishop, it may be a mentor. Yeah. It may be a parent. It may be a loved one. Can you just type in their title or their name Come on. in the chat? This is your opportunity That's to right. honor them. That's it. We're still live. That's it. They still can watch this replay, but it may be Bishop. It may be another. Take this opportunity to honor them. Yeah. Take this opportunity to, to share their name with the world. That That's it. if they were to ever pass by <laughs> the church that you attend, Ooh. they would know that they are still a part of your storyline. Yeah. Take this opportunity to honor them. Yeah. Yeah. I, we're waiting for you to do it. I'm yeah. going to let you keep going, Deke. Yeah. But we're waiting for you to do it. We want to see those names. It may be Bishop. It may be a mentor. It may be a parent. It may be a bloodline. That's right. It may be that neighbor that looked out for you when you were on the block, and they yeah. made sure that you stayed on the straight and narrow. Come on. Honor them today. Don't wait. Because you know what happens yeah. sometimes culturally? We wait until the grave you see that? to honor. Give them the flowers now. We grew up hearing that. But see, I, some of us ain't got no physical flowers, so give the honor now. Give the honor now. Yeah. And some of us don't have to look too far back. We don't have to look. I, I talk about it. I said, I said, I prayed for a father. I said, Lord, you got to send me a father. And God gave me a brother. Come on. Times when people, you see, people see Deacon Damien, and they see, oh, Deacon Damien is, you know, but people don't know Deacon Damien faced some dark days. Come on. And I had a brother that was when I, when I took my armor on, off, he put his on. Yeah. I honor you today. Yes, sir. I honor you today for, for brothering me. I'm the oldest boy in my biological gene, and I didn't know what it was to be a little brother to a, because he's older. And I didn't. Now you got one. Hey, already. honor. I don't want to have gotta to honor the <laughs> age. Shout out to I don't want to have to put you in the other sling, okay? But I'm telling y'all, God will give you what you don't even know you need. And mm. I honor you today. Yeah, I honor at, this. Look at these names. At we got Bishop. Yeah, I see Mr. Ian. Look at that. Yeah, Pastor Patricia Cox. Wow. 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 Somebody done called me out. Look who. Uh, they didn't call you out. Look at Donovan. 
Look at he that. He even called out his mother, Bishop. I love you, Donovan. You already know that. Donovan, you are a true testament. That's it. And we love you always. Acolyte. Sister Terry, we love you. Come on now. See, the people don't know. People don't know. Yeah. Sister Terry would make sure that the young people had juice and snacks. Sure. Come on. On 148.15. Show did. Show did. That's why you might not see it in person always, but that's because God blessed you. Show her. did. He'll bless you when you bless others. He will bless. See, today is different. Yeah. We, we off script today. Today yeah. is about the storyline because some Ooh, people don't know the you story. You don't know. We're here to tell it. Yeah. We're here to tell yeah. it. Look, Sister Rochelle, she said, I honor Tawana for her obedience to God, God and introducing me to inner city. Look at that. Look at that. See, sometimes people don't know the conduit that they got because we can all thank God and we all thank God for Bishop. But what was the conduit what to was the, what get was the to avenue? Here? What was the avenue? And let me tell you something. Sister Rochelle tells her testimony all the time. I remember sitting there community when she came with Sister Tawana with such a heaviness. Come on. And all I knew is that I just wanted to give her some love. My God. And she is one of our potent, strong, all the way committed. in ba- committed, all the way in Baltimore and back. I don't know. I, sometimes I don't know where she's at because she's so present. Because she always gave honor back to the place. Yeah. Look, look at that. Uh, she loved and God gave her back her joy. Jacqueline said, Pastor L. Maddox. Wow. Honor to her. Do you know this is so beautiful? Yeah. Because we wait until the grave. That's it. But today, Bishop gave us an opportunity to share honor. We got to stop. Yeah. We're going to have to cut this off. As Bishop said, as we continue to talk about honor, we're going to give you opportunities to talk about honor as well. When we come on next week, we may just start off with this because if we yeah. keep going, we're not going to have any time left. We're going to allow us to. You saw that? That was quick. I saw that. I saw that. <laughs> that. The because Matrix it's honor. It's honor. He won't let when it drop. In the spirit. It won't drop. Uh, yeah. It may flip, but you'll always catch it. Okay. Honor. That's what Bishop. T- <laughs> See, let me go back to honor. Let me tell this story, and we got to go. See, when you honor, Bishop used to toss his phone, his glasses. iPad. I was so scared. But you caught it. Hiya, na man. See. Listen, we were, we were somewhere, and Bishop took his iPad. It looked like he threw it from the 50-yard the line, and I he caught it. He butterflied it. He butterflied that thing. I honor the Ethel May Dixon. Hiya, na man, Listen, let me tell you something. You got to get in the census. Yeah. Text that because this see now this is how you get in and, and see the testimony yeah. testimonies of the saints and the believers. Get that census, type that in, text salvation. There's so many problems. But I'm telling you, this week, this word better be on yeah. your mind. Yeah. Rewatch this. Yeah. Share this to somebody. Yeah. This is reminding us that honor is due. Yeah. And you know what? I know we said we're gonna be back next week and we're gonna give you more opportunities to honor. But let us give you a challenge as we depart today. Yeah. There's still about 55 of us here. Yeah, I know where you're going. Take this week. That's right. We saw the names. Yeah. They're still coming in. Elder P. Smith, Elder Inger. They're still coming in. Wow. How about you let them know? If they're still here, there's some that may have gone on to be with I the honor Lord. honor the Lord for keeping me, Arlita. But Elder Arlita. those that are still here to receive. Honor them this week. Yeah. That's it. Show them. Yeah. Better than you can tell them. And you know what? For those that have gone on, you just said it. Yeah. You honored mama. Mama yeah. has gone on. Yeah. You got one degree, and there's more for you to get. That's how you continue to honor. That's how you continue to honor. But this week, we're going to honor. That's it. This week, we are going to honor. Yeah. As a church. That's right. Remember, remember your stones. Yeah. Remember the stones. Bishop talked about those 12 stones that they were instructed to gather as, that mo- as a memorial. Remember the m- memorial, y'all. You can, some, of you, some of you can look at your knee and see that scar from when you fell when you were eight and you were seven. But guess what? Some of you have some things that you can look back and say, wow, God has kept me. Sister, sister, so and so. I remember when she when she fed me. I remember when brother, brother brought me the, brought me the furniture. Listen, pride, don't let it get in the way. No, sir. You heard the challenge. Honor them this week. This week, make it and and, and not just because it's out of routine, but honor because you remember. Yeah, and you know, for some of us, you you've heard it some weeks ago. If you text the word goal, come on, that'll be your way to honor them this week yeah. as well. Yeah, put it on your goal to go goal tracker. Maybe you're gonna go into the goal tracker this week. And do something a little different that you haven't done before. Yeah. Sometimes starting that new yeah. process of a new goal is your way to honor them. Do it this week. 
I'm gonna. I, I have to go on my phone and just scroll yeah. through and make sure I get an accurate list of how I'm gonna honor this week. Yeah, we got. We got to get out of here because I feel like we about to. I let me tell you. I, I you know who I want to honor today. I, I want to honor Joe. Wow. Y'all don't see Joe, but he got to stand here with us, and we got to act crazy every week. And every he got to keep the camera. I know he sometimes he leaning a little over this way. Which way? This way. But I have to. I have to <laughs> ask him to keep it in line and make sure the lighting is good for me. Joe, we honor you. We honor you, Joe. We honor you, and we. Are, you know, Joe did my photo shoot for my wedding. Book him. Listen, <laughs> honor, honor. <laughs> I would say his number out there, but I don't want him to. He don't got a lower Nine third yet. Two, two, two. <laughs> All right, Joe. <laughs> we love you. We're going to see you next week. Don't forget to honor this week.